Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video here is all about on how to install the Business Mega Pack mod. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements. This mod does require the updated game version and it does not require a correct game version so make sure that you do buy the game before you install this mod now unfortunately the mod is only required inside a discord server so make sure that you join the mod owner discord server and download it from there so i will leave the link to the discord server inside my description below once you are inside the discord server it will say HKH191 modding. Now go right down to the bottom and you'll see mod release and signups. Go to the business redesign channel and now you will see the mod owner which is HKH191. Download it from here okay it is safe don't worry it's safe. Once you have finished downloading it I have already done it so I don't need to do it. Then next, it does require enable all interiors, so make sure that you do download this as well. And lastly, it does require Lemon UI. Unfortunately, the download Lemon UI latest version does not work. So make sure that you scroll down and download version 1.5.2. Download version 1.5.2. Select this button right over here. Unfortunately, I've already got it, so I don't need to download it. Once you have finished with that, then we can get started. Once you have finished downloading all of your mods, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. And now, next, before we do anything, really important go to your skithookv.net.ini file double click and now change your reload key to insert make sure it says insert exit and save next if you do not have one create a skits folder simply right click go to new and now create a new folder and name that folder scripts Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder and now let's begin. First things first, open up your lemon UI extract folder, go to your shvdn2 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Next, open up your shvdn3 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your skits folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. And then go inside this folder. Then go inside your skits folder. Then select all the files except for the text files. And now drag it inside your skits folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your business mega pack extract folder and now go inside this folder, go inside this folder 
and simply select all the files and folders except for the text file and drag it inside your skits folder. Wait for a few seconds and I select replace. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are in the game. Now when you enter the game, okay, your game will freeze for only a few seconds. Just wait for a few seconds and now you'll be back in the game. Now once you're in the game, okay, the first thing that you must do is go to your phone. Then you go to your contacts. Go right down to the bottom and you, you should have three of these, okay? Now the first thing that you must do is go to enable all interiors. Go to change an interior. Now this is up to you, okay? You can um, enable what in whatever interior you want. Say for an example, executive interiors. Now, if you want to open up your business inside the executive business, then you must enable uh, either the Maze Bank Tower, Tower, the Maze Bank West Tower, or whatever, okay? But, uh, you choose, okay? Now, I've been getting so many comments about the FPS drop. If you get a FPS drop, then you must disable all these businesses. See, hang out, disable it. Um, Doomsday Heist, uh, After Hours, disable this. Disable all the business that you're not using, okay? So if you do get FPS drop, make sure that you do disable all the businesses that you're not using, okay? And all the buildings that you're not using. But in my case, my computer can handle it, so I am going to leave everything as default. So, make sure that you do enable your business that you want, okay? And, yeah, uh, so everything's all right. So the business that I'm going to go to is the Maze Bank Tower. So, once you have enabled your business that you want and disabled any business that you do not want, go to the bottom to MISC options and now press enter. Now really important, okay? You must change enable markers to true. So change this to true. Now load MP mats, change that to true. Enable blips change that to true really important these three are really important okay now this next one is optional random color blips change that to true but if you don't want colors you can change it to false but i'm going to leave it as true once you have finished with that go to your main menu and go to refresh interiors press enter wait for a few seconds and now exit out of your menu now next go to your keyboard and press insert now your game will freeze for only a few seconds or one minute it all depends on your PC performance and then there you go see so we are back in the game and there's no crashes whatsoever so before we do go to our business, okay, our building, open up your phone again, go to your contacts, go right down to the bottom, and then go to business helper. Wait for a few seconds. And now purchase a business, okay? Now the business I told you that we are going to go to the Maze Bank Tower. So go to executive business, and now buy the Maze Bank Tower. There we go. Now, whatever business that you have enabled, you need to buy your business first before you go inside the building. Now, once you have done that, then you can simply go to your business, which my business is the Maze Bank Tower. So I will see you guys there.
and now we are here so I can't see the marker but I can see it down over there it's grey but whatever colour is your marker all you got to do is just go close to it and then wait for a few seconds and now you'll see the nice view then press E to enter and wait for a few seconds And now you're inside the building. Now you can exit by going over here and pressing E. It all depends on you. And now you can come over here and now do some stuff over here. But I'm just going to leave that as default. Now over here you can go to your garage or on the roof. And over here you can simply just play with the radio. But I'm going to leave that. Now really important, come to your chair. Press Q on your keyboard and now you can press E on your keyboard to open the menu. Now I'm not going to do any missions okay but the missions does work I already tested it three times and it does work but it's really important okay go to your organization options and now you can change the design of your office just say for an example um old spice warm for nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars press enter now you will teleport outside don't worry i will see you watch this see you're outside just wait for a few seconds wait and then you'll be inside there you go and then now you have changed your interior see you can press E again to go to the uh, menu and now you can do other stuff. You can source a vehicle, um, uh, go to the garage and now you can buy vehicles for your garage. You can rent a vehicle or etc. Organization options. You can change the props inside the business. But yeah, change the name too. But I'm going to leave everything as default. To exit out of your seat, press Q again. And now there you go. Now you've got your sleeping quarters in there, you guys already know about that. And then now, yeah, pretty much all it. So go over here, to exit the office, and go over here. And then now there you go. So Pretty much it's okay guys so that's how you install the mod and that's how you use the mod and we're back again so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod now let's just only move GTA modding away a bit okay and bring back in cyberpunk modding now I know you guys can see my uh, my desktop screen it says cyberpunk modding I will be doing some videos about that and I will be doing some tutorial videos about Cyberpunk modding soon, okay? So stay tuned for that. Now let's bring back GTA modding. So like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Now, unfortunately, I'm not active on my comments, but if you need fast reply and help, then I will leave the mod owner Discord server inside my description below. So join his Discord server, okay? And uh, him and his team can help you guys out, okay? Or you might see me there too as well. So with that all said, okay, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.